guys you can see clearly the snow is gone i think we are coming back to normal there are some issues still there some people are still without power without utilities so we are dealing with that but other than that i think life is getting back to normal and definitely you will see a huge smile on my face when things are coming back to normal uh, but beyond that i think people are asking about the polar alignment there were several questions since i started 2 years ago the sharp cap i did posted multiple versions of the videos everyone started using sharp cap for polar alignment now uh, but anyway the point is uh, i love the sharp cap polar alignment and the ease of use it takes like maybe 2 3 minutes to get a good polar alignment so make sure your telescope is roughly polar aligned then open the sharp cap software open your camera and then go to tools and polar align this feature is available i think for 11 dollars or 10 dollars a year and you need to press the next button when it is showing if you don't see it change the star detection settings and the noise reduction settings and the remaining ones press the next button it will ask you to rotate the ra axis so when you move the ra axis towards like 45 degrees angle so from the home position you are going to move to 45 degrees angle when you do that it will actually show you how much is the polar adjustment that you need to make uh, when you press the next button you can actually start making changes just by looking at whether you need to go right or whether you need to go up or whether you need to go down and it's fairly simple you are going to move either the altitude or azimuth knobs the left and right knobs to adjust your idea is to bring that to zero right uh, if it is not zero pretty close to the zero that's what you're going to try it might take like few minutes or maybe a couple of minutes but once you get used to it i think it will get faster and faster every day so make sure you bring it to zero like that one as close to the zero as possible and when you are done Uh, just bring your telescope back to the home position and when you do that you actually see the polar alignment error increase i'm not sure why that is but i never found that is a big problem because you are only looking at before you bring the telescope to the home position i hope this helps you like to get a good polar alignment I'm actually thinking of taking the picture of the emission nebula in Manaseros constellation. It is called Rosette Nebula. Some people call it Skull Nebula. I never saw any skull in that nebula. All I saw is it looks like a beautiful rose. So anyway, I'll show you guys that video. Thanks for all the wishes. It's getting pretty dark. So I'll get to my work. Thank you all.